At Game Golf, we've heard a lot of feedback from our users asking us for more statistical features, and we're really excited about our new analysis package. What we want to help our users do is to better understand how they're hitting the ball off the tee, how they're hitting their balls into the green, and how their scoring is different on different types of holes. So as you can see here, we've got off the tee, approach the green, and scoring analysis tools. What we see here is a visual representation of every shot Graham has taken with his driver across all rounds and all courses. Uh, this graph is interactive, so if you hover over his longest drive of 320 yards, we can actually see that I was taken at Glen Abbey Golf Club on the ninth hole on July 24th, 2013. You can see every, every shot that he made in the fairway is going to be contained in this virtual fairway here. On the left, we see all the shots that he missed into the rough. And on the far left, we can see shots that he missed so far left that we weren't able to put them proportionally on the screen, but we want to highlight their distance and the fact that they went, that he missed them left. And at the bottom here, we can see his aggregate stats for these shots. So he hits the fairway 75% of the time, with his longest drive being 320 yards, his typical drive distance being around 275 yards, 18% missing left, and 8% missing right. Now on the left here, we can actually look at other clubs that he's hit off the tee. If we look at his three-wood data, for instance, we can see he's much more accurate. He's got 88% fairways hit, and only 13% misses to the right. Similarly, we can look at his five-wood. And if we go back to his driver, we can also constrain it to just his last 10 rounds, or even his last one round. And now we can, you can see in his last round, he actually hit 100% fairways. Lastly, you can also constrain this to specific courses that he's played. So if we look at his last round at Lake Merced, we can see exactly what happened that day. The next tab that we want to show is this Approach the Green tab. On this tab, we see all the approach shots that Graham McDowell has taken. Right now, we're looking at a distance of within 100 yards. So this is showing all the shots that Graham has taken to the green from within 100 yards. If we hover over any of these shots, we can see more details, such as this one landed 24 feet from the pin. He used a lob wedge, and he hit it 61 yards. And again, we can see what course he played, what hole he played, and the day he played that, that shot. Now, if we look at other distances, let's say we want to look at from look at shots he ta he's taken from outside 100 yards. Now we see a lot more data, and it's a lot more scattered, as you might expect from a, from from such a wide range of distance. Again, we have the summary at the bottom here: 67% he hit within 15 yards of the pin. Now we chose the distance 15 yards because a typical golf course green is around 5,000 to 7,500 square feet. And a 15-yard radius for a circular green is right in that ballpark. So shots within 15 yards are most likely going to be on the green. And they, they represent a pretty good shot. Um, on the left here, we have the same filters as before for rounds and courses. But we also let you, let you filter by the lie type. So if we want to see all the shots that Graham took from a tee box from outside 100 yards, we can use this filter. Or we can similarly see shots he took from the fairway from a bunker, or from the rough. If we want to look at his shots by club instead, we can select this filter and now go through club by club. Let's say we want to see his 7-iron performance. And this is showing from the rough. But now if we look at all 7-iron seven, all seven performances. So with his 7-iron, we can see that Graham hits within 15 yards of the pin 45% of the time. He's long 9%, he's short 27%, he's left 9%, and he's right 18% of the time. Now we want to point out the caveat that these percentages may actually add to more or less than 100%, because if a shot is both long and right, it's going to count towards both of these categories. Similarly, if a short is left and short, it'll count both towards left and short. The last thing we want to show you is the new scoring tab. The scoring tab allows you to look at how you score on par 3, par 4, and par 5 holes, as well as to look at your putting in more detail. So right now we can see overall, Graham shoots an average of negative 0.16 per hole. He shoots that much better than par. 
how this breaks down is, on par 3s, gram is actually slightly above par. On par 4s, gram is slightly below par. And on par 5s, gram is well below par. He, he, on average, he gains 0.6 strokes for the par 5 holes. If you look at Graham's putting, we can see he averages 1.59 putts per hole, which breaks down to 144 two putts, 97 one putts, and he actually has one chip-in shot as well that's been recorded with Game Golf. Lastly, at the, on the left, we have the same filters as on the other two tabs where you can drill into any particular round or any particular course. That's it. We hope you like the new features, and if you have any feedback, please email us at support at gameyourgame.com.